Hey guys, Drew here for Z Code System, and today we're going to talk a little bit about a soccer betting term that some of you who are new to soccer betting might not be too familiar with because just searching through your favorite online sports book, you will see a lot of different markets for soccer betting, especially if you're using some of the top industry leading websites or, or bookmakers such as Bet365, Paddy Power, Coral, Betfred, all of those top industry leading sports books are always using a lot of markets and it can be kind of confusing whenever you go through these markets even if you've been betting for quite some time you might not fully understand what some of these markets are or, or when you should use them and so today i thought why not go through one of these markets that i've used a, a fair amount of times and one that you might want to try on a big time soccer match or even just a, a normal league soccer match especially if you want to get used to using this soccer betting market. Now, as you can see there, we've got the Z Code System blog. You can always go over there and pick up the latest information that we post. Uh, we've had some NBA picks up recently. Whoops, just clicked on that, didn't mean to do that. Uh, but we've had some NBA picks uh, up recently. We've also had some uh, NFL picks from the playoffs over the weekend. What a fantastic weekend of playoffs. Uh, as you can see, scroll down there, my latest uh, soccer blog before this one uh, on the outright winners for the Champions League. You might want to go there and check that out. So lots of great stuff going up on the Z Code System blog. And of course, be sure you're checking out the YouTube page where we have even more content and you can find uh, some great things there. And also sign up to the email list to get picks sent directly to your email box. All right. So I'm going to use Bet365, which of course, as I always say, is my favorite sports betting website, uh, just to show you a little bit of the draw no bet sports betting market on soccer betting and if you need a little bit more help with this then by means by all means go over to the blog and read up on what i wrote there i give a great example uh for a game between liverpool and manchester united in the premier league to help you understand this a little bit more so as i come to you today it is january the 31st uh tuesday and we're going to be having the uh second legs of the uh uh, EFL Cup semifinals, as you can see there. And I thought about using those as examples, but you know what? Everybody loves the Premier League. Uh, so I'm going to actually go through to the Premier League and use some upcoming games there. And as you can see, we've got so many soccer betting leagues, or so soccer leagues to bet on here. And as you can see, we've got some different uh, games going on this weekend, kicking off on a Friday with Chelsea and Fulham uh, playing at Stamford Bridge there in the Premier League. And I'm actually going to scroll down, take a look at some of these games here. And you know what? I'm going to actually pick this game, Liverpool and Wolverhampton Wanderers playing at Molyneux uh, in Wolverhampton. Now, the reason I picked this game is because uh, of two factors. Liverpool are not playing very well. They're playing very poorly this season compared to seasons past and they're uh, about mid-table right now. And Wolverhampton Wanderers are, after starting very poorly and being at the bottom of the table, making a managerial change and bringing in a host of players uh, this month to, to improve that team. They're they're on the up, but as you can see there from the money line, we've got Wolverhampton Wanderers at 16 to five, uh, Liverpool at five to six and a draw at 11 to four. Now I'm going to change this to American odds because that's what we often show here. Oops, we got a little reload there. Uh, that's what we show here on the uh, website, on the Z Code system website. So I'm just gonna change this to American odds. And if you, know, you can do this on your favorite sports book as well. And then we've got this. So now we have plus one, excuse me, that's the wrong date. We've got plus 320 on Wolverhampton Wanderers, plus 275 on a draw, and minus 120 on Liverpool to win. So Liverpool are the favorites. So keep in mind, if you want to bet on Liverpool, you'd be betting $120 to win back $100. Uh, if you're betting on Wolverhampton Wanderers, $100 would win you back $320 if they are successful. Now, this game like i said is is a bit of a tricky one because wolves uh wolverhampton are improving liverpool are not playing so well this season so you might want or you might think this game could potentially end in a draw uh in this game and uh but you want to back liverpool uh to win this match so i'm going to scroll through all of these markets and as you can see like i said before industry leading websites sports betting websites have some incredible markets and this is just the main page uh, there are more markets to this, but I'm going to scroll down. And as you can see there, we have draw no bet. And that is what I want to talk about here and what I want to pick. So we now have Liverpool at minus 275. We've got Wolverhampton Wanderers at plus 200. 
Now, the draw no bet is fantastic because it eliminates the chance of a draw occurring in the game. Now, the traditional money line bet in soccer, or one times two bet, it, it gives you three possible outcomes. You get a home win, a draw, or an away win. But in the draw no bet, we eliminate the possibility of a draw occurring. So the only thing that can happen is a home win, so Wolverhampton winning, or an away win, Liverpool winning. If a draw occurs or a tie, then this bet would end in a push and you would receive your initial stake back. Now, the reason why soccer bettors will use a draw no bet and the reason why it's so popular is because it gives you some insurance, a bit of a safety net. It gives you the chance to wager on one of these two teams. And if the game ends in a draw, then well, you get your stake back. Now, of course, if your bet is a loser, then you will lose your initial stake. Now, one of the tactics that uh, sports bettors will use the draw no bet for is to back the underdog uh, because you're able to back the underdog but prevent a draw from occurring. Now, one of the most infuriating things about betting on a soccer match, uh, whether you're betting on an accumulator or you're betting on just a single money line matches, you've made a wager on one of the teams, for example, Wolverhampton Wanderers, and they're winning. 1-0 or 2-1 uh, late in the game and with just seconds left or minutes left in the game, Liverpool or the opposing team score a goal and the game ends in a draw, leaving you with nothing. Your bet loses. So the draw no bet prevents that from happening because you would just simply get your stake back. You would get a, It would be a push and you would get your stake back. Uh, but if Wolverhampton win, you would end up getting those winnings, those profits. So you, know, you cover yourself in that situation and of course if you were going to wager on the favorite you would also give yourself a little bit of a safety net to prevent the the away team from having or, or the other team the underdog from having a great game and ending up picking up a draw uh, which you know can happen because anything can happen a lot of times in the premier league these days with the amount of money uh, in each and every team so in this case with liverpool playing so poorly i would Take a punt on Wolverhampton Wanderers at plus 200. Again, meaning a 100 pound or $100 bet would give me $200 in profits. So I'm going to go ahead and make this bet on Wolverhampton Wanderers, draw no bet, and with the hope that Wolverhampton is able to pick up the win against a struggling Liverpool team and this game not ending in a draw and winning a significant amount of money back. So that was the idea behind this. Now, of course, like I said before, you can use this to wager on the favorite and give yourself a bit of a safety net in case that plucky away team or, or underdog, I should say, is able to pick up a draw and then you get your money back. But this is the idea behind the draw no bet. Now the draw no bet is uh, a little bit similar to something called the double chance. Now I'm gonna go back up and I, I would actually say that I use the double chance bet which is right here, uh, more in my sports betting, especially in accumulators, uh, than I do in the, uh, than I would do the draw no bet. But again, that is up to uh, the style of betting you're doing. Um, I, I do love an accumulator. I do love on the weekends putting a accumulator together of different football matches, usually a fourfold or a fivefold, and putting down a small stake and seeing if I can win you know, a large profit, which is, uh, you know, it, for me, a lot of times those are more just fun than it is trying to win any money. But as I say before, the, do the double chance is very similar. And in another blog and video, we'll cover the double chance maybe next time. And uh, we'll go into more depth about that. But that's going to do it for us today here on Z Code System, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you're on YouTube, give us a thumbs up and like the video. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button so you are up to date on everything that we post here on the Z Code System channel. And if you haven't, go over to the blog and read up on everything we have there and get to know more about the draw no bet. And maybe give it a chance this weekend on your sports betting for the Premier League or any other soccer league. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me, and I will see you later here on Z Code System.